Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is destined to the beautiful sign of Scorpio. My dear friend Scorpio, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions, if ever you do, um, you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box, so you can contact me there. It will be my great pleasure. Um, also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated, and I do thank you in advance. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. So this reading is all about some things that you need to know coming from the mermaids. So these are mermaid messages for you. Being mermaids, they are very watery, so they do speak a lot about emotions and feelings. So we are going to be speaking about blessings, about breaking free, and moving forward. So let's begin right over here with blessings. You need to prepare yourself to receive an abundance of blessings. The more you focus on your blessings, the more you are going to attract them. Remember to count your blessings. The mermaid here, she's preparing herself for beautiful blessings by being receptive and filled with gratitude. She feels worthy to receive the infinite blessings and she is fully in trust with the divine to bring them to her. So you have that ability also. You have the ability to bestow blessings as well as to receive them. Anyone can bless others, and this can be done with sincerity and from the heart. Blessing someone can be a very empowering act that can open the door of divinity for both parties. Blessings can manifest in many different ways. This mermaid asks you to count your blessings and also to be very grateful for their presence in your life. Even when things aren't going so great, there will always be at least one blessing that you can count. And the more you focus on being grateful, the more blessings you are going to attract. Your presence could be a blessing in the life of someone else. And when we feel worthy and we can appreciate our true value, others can perceive us as a blessing in their lives. Alternately, Perhaps someone is about to enter your life or who will be a very beautiful blessing, but to you. Sometimes we can feel helpless when we see things going wrong into the world. Uh, for example, if you see an emergency service vehicle making a simple silent blessing like a prayer or a wish for that person or the people or the situation can really make a difference. Bringing a sense of peace and calm to an otherwise a stressful situation. So we are now going to move on over to breaking free. Look honestly at your situation. Are you becoming entangled without really realizing it? You have the power to break free from a disempowering situation. What you need to do is say no. Are you out of your depth? Perhaps you've become entangled in a difficult situation and you feel that there is no way out. You must know that there is a way to break free from any situation. All it takes is a positive mindset with a sprinkling of hope. You could be entangled in work or relationship commitments. This mermaid wants you to know that it's okay to say no sometimes. Always tune in before agreeing to anything. Make sure it's the right thing for you and don't feel pressurized to do anything that you instinctively know is not right for you. Otherwise, you can become entangled in situations that are not of your choosing. And this message also says that it's the right time to break free from any psychic cords that are restricting you spiritually or physically. You can do this by asking um, Archangel Michael to come in and gently remove any cords. Then 
calling an Archangel Raphael to fill those places with a gentle healing light. And when we cut those cords, we are not removing the person of the circumstances that put them there. We are simply breaking free from any cords or entanglements that aren't serving your highest good. And by doing this, you are creating a clean spiritual slate with which you can begin anew, a healthier, a mutually beneficial connection. Someone around you might also be entangled in a situation and need your intervention. So only help if you feel safe to do so. Your involvement might be to inform a professional organization that can assist. So you might be just the person to set the wheels into motion. And to conclude, we are going to be speaking here about moving forward. You need to make a move now. But the time for waiting is over and forward movement is required. Don't let fear stop you. The warrior king here of the sea strides boldly forward and asks that you do the same. He says that it's time to make a move, so you need to follow him. Whatever it is that you have been thinking about or doing, this card says to do it now. You might not feel ready or you could be waiting for the exact perfect moment to take that action. Well, that perfect moment, it's now. The time for inaction or procrastination is over. You know in your heart that the current circumstances can't stay the same and bold action is required. It might not be a life-changing move or, or there again, maybe it could be. You are going to know what you need to do, so you need to act with courage as a boldly move forward and trust in life that is guiding you. You need to dream it. Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness is genius. It's power. It's magic. You need to take heed of these wide words and you need to apply them to your own life now. An exciting time of activity lies ahead and is going to lift you out of your current scenario and into a whole new world. You might be feeling very comfortable and not feel like moving anywhere, let alone forward. This message here can also be saying, move forward, but by moving your body. It could be as simple as getting some exercise. This is the meaning of this card when it appears. You are going to know how to interpret this card intuitively and also by considering what you need to do. What is going on around you? Is it time for that bold move or is it time for you to start taking care of your physical, of your activity? That being said, my dear friend Scorpio, this is the conclusion of your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it made sense, that it resonated. If you do have any questions, you would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow.